It's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. It is Friday and it's 9.30. Are you up? Probably not. <laughs> um, I did not do Bible study yesterday because I'd been to the kids and I slept. Well, I didn't really get sleep late, but I was really tired yesterday morning. Um, when I went to May and Amy's, we had so much fun and I'm going to wait till a couple of you guys get on here to talk about that while I look up the bird of the day. Good morning, everybody. And if you're watching in the evening, good evening. <laughs> Let's see. Today is June the 17th. Let's see. Our bird is a Southern masked weaver and i've not seen one of these but i want you to look how beautiful his nest is i'm sure that's why he's called that because i guess he weaves that nest isn't that pretty he's a beautiful little bird it's weird how he has a red eye he's pretty so southern masked weaver is our bird of the day good morning um I talked to May yesterday, and she's actually going to get a cat tomorrow. I don't have a picture of it yet, but it's pregnant. And apparently they knew somebody that knows somebody that has abandoned a cat. So they called the local um, Humane Society, I guess is what you call it, the pound or whatever you call it. And they are going to help her uh, adopt that cat until the kittens are born. And I know my May well enough to know that she'll probably want one of those kittens after they're born because I know I would. So maybe she gets the mother and the kittens to the pound after the kittens are born. I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, she's going to get the kitty cat tomorrow. And so that's exciting. Um, Angel has adopted her parents dog uh, because her parents are having to move and um his her name is rose and i got to meet her while i was there y'all and rose is such a beautiful pup i don't think i got a picture of her but she's a medium-sized dog and um she looks kind of like a spaniel um and she's a uh, kind of red with white and she was the sweetest little thing and she had a toy that was a parrot bird that was supposed to be a cat toy and of course when you put it in your hand it tweets i don't know if you remember those little um and they still make them those little chickens you put in your hand and when they get the heat from the palm they tweet 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 well, that's kind of what she had. She loved that little toy. She had so much fun with that little toy. And she wouldn't let it go. I mean, she took it everywhere with her. So I got it from her. And uh, I was petting it and talking to it and aggravating her, really. And when I gave her that toy back, y'all, she went and she sat right in between me and Angel. And she wouldn't have anything else to do with me. <laughs> so I guess I upset her. But anyway. So the trip was fun. We I got there. Excuse me. I didn't get there till three o'clock because I had to have my teeth cleaned that day. And so I got there and they um I picked up May and Angel first, and then we rode over to Amy's. And y'all, I completely forgot that my car, I have an X Infinity. I call it Xfinity, but it's an infinity. And it's an SUV. And I completely forgot that the back side, the back, very back of it flips up to two more seats. So I was able to get an uh, angel. Matter of fact, just the other day, I was thinking, I wish I had a minivan so I could carry all my kids at once. But I was able to get, when we flipped up those seats, I got May, an angel, Amy, and Chris. And Keisha all in the car with me, and we rode downtown to Savannah, and that was fun. Uh, <laughs> my driving was fun because Amy wouldn't tell me when to turn until I got right up on it. And then look at my crazy hair. And then when I got right up on it, she'd go, Turn right here. And I'm like, Right here. And she's like, Yeah. So there's a couple of times I made a really sharp turn and scared them all to death. But um, I told Amy, I said, You need to give me a better warning. You're not a good. Uh, 
teacher to tell me where to go. But anyway, we went downtown, all of us, and it was hot. It was 90, I think it was 98 degrees. All right. And we went downtown and we parked in the parking deck. And we had to walk. So me and May both are not good at walking because May, you know, she broke her leg. But now May's doing a lot better. But anyway, we go to the store where Amy works and we get to walk around in there. And then after that, we went to where Chris works and had uh, dinner at, right at five o'clock. So we enjoyed ourselves. The only thing I got at Amy's, I got them all something, of course, Mama treated them all. I told them, I said, everybody pick out something you want. And of course they did. And then I got this purse and I just think it's super pretty. It is really soft leather. Um, Y'all know I have to, to take lightweight purses. They had the prettiest purses the other day in Bell's Outlet, but all of them were so heavy. There's no way I could have used them. But what I like about this purse is it's lightweight. It does have the strap in it. But but it has um, places for your cards in it, so you don't have to carry a separate wallet. And that's the way I like for them to be. And it's got all these different compartments. So it's got one, two, three, four compartments. Now, that's awesome for me because lipstick can go in one. Cards can go in one. Uh, my hand sanitizer can go in one. My phone can go in one. It's nice. So I got this there. That's what I got. So um, the kids picked out T-shirts. And um, then we went in a store. Because we were trying to kill time because his um, place didn't open. They closed from 3 to 5 for prep for dinner. So we went in a store that sold candles. And they, the, both of the girls got a necklace in there to go around their neck. May wanted one, but they didn't have a color she liked. And then we got, I got stones. Um, and I can go get them and show them to you and show you how pretty they are. But I don't know the name of them. Um, they're all, you know, like, let me go get them. And they're like pure colors, and I don't know the names of the stones. But this one, look how pretty. Um, they're in the shape of hearts, so I couldn't resist. You know how much I love hearts. So I got this one because my, my room has got red. Most of the time I do decorate with some red in my room. So I wanted them to sit on my dresser. And so this is the biggest one. And it's a heart, and it's red. And then this one starts with an S. The material it's made out of, it's white, and it has a bunch of lines through it. And this is the that one. And then these uh, are gold with glitter. There's two of these. So I wanted them to kind of sit together, you know, in my room on the dresser. So there they are. Aren't they pretty? So believe it or not, that's what I got me. Okay. Um, they're really pretty. So the girls got necklaces and I got these. And then May got a, <clears throat> it's called a worry stone or something. And it, you're supposed to rub it or something crazy. Um, but anyway, we had a good time. And... Uh, they ordered appetizers and we got, uh, they had fried calamari and, and then we got some kind of pork dumplings or new, yeah, pork dumplings. And then I got cashew chicken and three of us got cashew chicken and Chris got coconut shrimp and I really liked his plate, his plate. The way they did their coconut shrimp was really different. <clears throat> it had the shrimp in the middle with some kind of sauce over it. And then it had broccoli on each side. And then on the very ends, it had a sliced up strawberries. It was really pretty. <clears throat> and then, um, let's see, 
may got Mongolian beef. <coughs> but me and Angel and Kesha all got the same thing, cashew chicken. I don't know why, but I keep. <coughs> I'm hoarse. Sometimes my voice messes up. All right. But that was my trip, and we had a really good time, and we had fun. And then we went back to the apartment and spent some time together. And then I went back to May's and Angel's and stayed until late. Then I decided I was going to come home late because I didn't have my CPAP machine. And I got to thinking. I had everything packed and ready, and I didn't have my CPAP. And I thought, you know what? I am going to drive them crazy snoring. So I did not stay. I came home. And y'all, the dogs kept me up all night between the dogs barking, I mean, whining. And then the doggone fire alarm went off in the middle of the night. I'm like, why do they always have to start beeping and telling you the battery's dead in the middle of the night? Why can't it be during the day? And so I had to get up uh, and take that fire alarm off the wall. And I don't even know what time it was and take the battery out of it. What a fiasco. I had a fun time with them, but it wasn't fun trying to rest that night. And that was it. That was it. I helped May clean up her kitchen. And I taught her how to clean up the countertops. Lord, these kids, they're so funny. Maybe I should do cleaning videos. <laughs> but anyway, um, we had fun. And so Chris is out of town. So I thought I would get up this morning and do Bible study with you guys. Because yesterday I was not in good shape in the morning. I did make a cake yesterday. And I had it done by noon. So I did good. I just didn't get up and get started early enough. Um, well, actually, I got up started. I got up at 630 yesterday. I'm losing my mind. Today I actually slept kind of late. Glad it wasn't actually a fire. Me too, Kim. I knew it wasn't a fire because it didn't go off like there was a fire. It just chirps. You know how they do when their battery's low? It's just a chirp, chirp. And at first I slept through it, but then it, they got closer. The chirps got closer and closer together, and I had to get up. All right. So, are y'all ready to do Bible study today? I am. Um, I hope you are too. Uh, it's going to be good today. And... Um, I was just looking to see who's here. I'm so glad you all joined in. And um, and I'm, I, I don't know why I want to say this, but I'm going to say it because I don't know why I want to say it. But let's all remember to pray for each other. Uh, I, you know, every time you get a chance and you're by yourself and even at night or whatever, if the Lord wakes you up in the middle of the night, Remember not just to pray for those of your loved ones and those, you know, remember to pl pray for all of us here on Real Southern Woman, because you know what? We all need encouragement and um, we can ask the Lord to give that to us. And a matter of fact, uh, today's Bible study is about prayer. And uh, I don't know why but my feet have really been bothering me. And so I got a I got an appointment. I got three appointments next week. So let me see what days they're on to make sure they don't mess with Bible study. But anyway, because this week the Bible study has been crazy. Um, but anyway, I did it. I don't normally petition the Lord about my health. I really don't. I just, I mean, he knows how I feel. And so I don't always call out to him. But uh, I'm going to be honest with you this week. I have asked him to please help my feet. Um Next week, I have appointments on Tuesday morning. Let's see. But Tuesday is a night Bible study anyway. So I have a foot doctor and the oral surgeon I go back to. And then on Friday, I go to the heart doctor to talk about uh, my, the, um, Heart, heart monitor that I wore and the ultrasound that they did. So I get to do that next week. So I have three appointments next week. And that's one reason I didn't go with Chris uh, because I had so many appointments. So um, let's just remember to pray for each other. Okay. And we can do that. 
let's see. We're going to do Bible study today. I just want to thank everybody for joining us and tell you how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, and 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 understand too that um, you know we talk about all kinds of subjects on here, and um, we should love each other regardless. And try to agree to disagree whenever something is said. And as long as we all agree on how we get to heaven, the rest of it, you know, as long as we can just love each other and remember to spread the love of Jesus uh, more than you do anything else or spread the gospel of Jesus. And so what I'm trying to say is be a loving person and kind and um, that always goes a lot further than being prideful and arrogant or even self-righteous, okay? So we're going to open up Bible study today. And today, it comes out of the book of Psalm, chapter 12, verse 1. And it says, help, Lord. Help, Lord. Oh, my goodness. What a be beautiful thing just to be able to cry out for help. To our Lord, to the creator of the universe. Think about it. It's unbelievable the privilege that we have to be able to cry out, help, Lord. For if we didn't have the Lord to cry out for help, think about who we would be asking for help. We would be asking each other for help. And, you know, we would get very disappointed really quick, wouldn't we? So um, this is about crying out for help. And um, it is a good Bible study today. It says the prayer itself is remarkable for it is short, but seasonable, judgmental, and, suggest and suggestive. So he's saying that it's, a cry out at the right time. Um, so when you're at a point, sometimes if um, life has put you in a certain situation, you're ready to cry out, help Lord. And many times we don't ask the Lord for help. We try to do things ourselves, don't we? We try to ask people for help. We try to go to our family for help. Um, but when all else fails, sometimes that's what it takes before we even cry out, help Lord. And really, we should start out with help Lord, shouldn't we? It says, David mourned the small number of faithful men. King David is the one crying out for help. And he mourned to the Lord because there was such a small number of faithful men. And therefore, he lifted up his heart in prayer. When the creature failed, he flew to the creator. It is apparent that he felt his own weakness. Or he would have not cried for help. But at the same time, he planned to use himself for the cause of truth. Because the word help is unsuitable where we ourselves do nothing. There is much bluntness, clearness of observation and clarity in this plea of two words, help Lord. Much more indeed than in the long rambling outpourings of certain professors of the faith. The psalmist runs straight forward to his God with a well-considered prayer, he knows what he is seeking and where to seek it. Lord, teach us to pray in the same blessed manner. The occasions for the use of this prayer are frequent. In the time of afflictions, this prayer is suitable for tried believers who find all their friends failing them. Students of the Bible and doctrine difficulties may often obtain aid by lifting up this cry of help, Lord, help, Lord, help me to understand your word. 
And when they do this, they cry for help, it says, to the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is who helps teach us and guide us in the word of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is our great teacher. Spiritual warriors in inward conflicts may send to the throne of reinforcements, and this will be a model for their request. Workers in heavenly labor may then obtain grace in the time of need. It says that sinners who are seeking, seeking the Lord, may offer up the same supplication. In fact, in all these cases, times and places, this will serve the turn of needy souls. Help, Lord. Will suit us living and dying, suffering or laboring, rejoicing or sorrowing. In him, our help is found. Let us not neglect to cry to him. Don't forget to cry out to our Lord. It says the answer to the prayer is certain if you sincerely pray through Jesus. The Lord's character assures us that he will not leave his people. His relationship as father and husband guarantees us his aid. His gift of Jesus is a pledge of every good thing. And his sure promise stands. Fear not. I will help thee. That's it. Think about that. When you say, help Lord, the Lord says, fear not. I will help thee. The Lord loves you and he loves me. He loves us so much that he's provided the age of grace so that we can get saved and have eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He loves us way more than we could ever imagine and understand. So therefore, we should cry out to the Lord and say, help, Lord. If there's anybody out there today who's in a time of need, I pray that you would cry out today, help, Lord. And I pray that he will answer you. And let's not forget to pray for each other because you know what? It is so nice to know that there's others out there petitioning to the Lord through Jesus Christ for our favor, right? So let's not forget each other. We may not know every one of each other by name, but the Lord does. So we could just say the real Southern woman family. Pray for us, okay? Let's go to the Lord in prayer, and I just thank you so much for joining us this morning live on Real Southern Woman. If you're coming in late, we thank you for watching as well, and just know that my heart does pray for you guys. I do call out to the Lord for my uh, viewers, and I do love you, not near as much as God loves you. I try to, but let's just not forget each other. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and uh, I will see you hopefully over the weekend since Chris is not here. Um, you'll get, I'll be able to come on. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much. We thank you for your love. We thank you for um, listening, caring about us. We thank you for the privilege that we have to be able to come to you and you hear our pleas through your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for our salvation. And we thank you for no matter what we're going through. We thank you for having the faith to trust you. That everything will be all right. Whether whatever decision it is in our life that you make for us. Whatever the final outcome is that we could trust you with it and be able to hand it over to you. Be with each and every one of the listeners today. 
know that we do love each other as a group. And I just pray that you would bless each and every one of the ears who take the time out to seek you and your word and you being a part of their day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed Friday. And I will see you next time on Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it. If you've got a special prayer request listed, because this weekend I should have plenty of time to read through them. All right. See you next time. Love you. Bye.